the wire. It's being pulled by the by the PC. I don't want to ruin Ryan's. Let me do this. There. Now we're even. That's not. You know what? You know what? Maybe, I, maybe, I, I, I don't know. Appreciate the accommodation. I'm trying. Okay. Either way, what? sticks are versus Black Twins. The run back. Game number one. Black Twins. Yeah, he's going going with the ages this time. Yeah, he's got a lot of characters in his arsenal. Once again, yeah, BT. He's he's the main guy. Dude, he he's been in the scene for like almost like what almost a decade. Or a decade, rather. Right ages. There. Either way, this is a good lead here from Black Twins. I like these use of down tilt. Kind of smother Lucas a little bit with Mithra. Great timing there on that dash attack. And the lead is just gaining, and now the Pyra comes out. That was a very good retreat there from Black Twins. He knew Lucas not only being in the air, but a little bit slow. Damn. That up smash almost taking it. School's, school's right. in town, wow. and you know, six, just, just, six, oh six, six just packing the heavy backpack, you know? Well, as heavy as it is, it's not enough for a giant burning sword. Four up airs in a row, and Black Twins just answers with a nair. Just wow. barely air dodge that PK freeze. That's... You gotta you got be cheesy about that a little bit. That oh, was a great timing on that getup attack. He knew that Sixer was ready for the PK 32. Wow. PK fire taking that stock. I love Black Twins' awareness. He's always ready for the opponent's retaliation. He only has to hit them a few times, but the opponent's going to press on. He's ready for that. The but Stixer carrying Black Twins all the way to the left side of the stage. And PK Freeze not going to hit here, but now he has the lead. Yeah, Pain Train's in town now. He's going for another. Eventually. Oh, no. No, no, dare no. Loops? What is these dare loops? No, I up saw the, I saw the up smash coming. Chill, chill out of oh, the up smash. Oh my Shades god! Shades of Cobb coming out from Stixer, and now oh. with no jump, he has to PK Thunder. Black Twins not hitting the punish. And now off stage, PK Freeze. That was really really dangerous from from Stixer's side because like he, he he almost ran out of opportunities to go for the Zare again. Only wow. Only go for three. I love that air drag down does not hit the up air. Stixer still in it, but now above Black Twins, a place you never want to be. Trying to PK fire his way out of there. The dash attack's gonna take that stock. Yeah, you got hit by double. Double. Side B. But honestly, this is still definitely Stixer's game here. The PK freeze, good early up B, but it's not I, enough there. I, I love the way that Sixer let go of the ice, the, the ice like early, just so that he he can like catch an early up B from Black Twins, and then go go, go for the hairpin torpedo before Black Twins could fast forward. Try to look safely. Really yeah. smart from Sixer's it, it, side. It was good on Black Twins to up B early there, but Stixer, he just played right into Stixer's hands. Like, I, I PK freeze here, and now I can react to your high recovery. But, still some great angle on the PK Thunder 2 up smash. Unfortunately, oh going to take it there. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I hope, I hope that doesn't really get too much into Stixer's head, because he was doing very, very good right there. I feel like he was getting a lot more honest punishes than he was last week, and... Just that, that PK freeze situation there. So good. Very, very good awareness right there. It was a nice way to, to like catch uh, BT's recoveries twice. In a way, like it, it, you can you can sort of mind game, especially because like you can you, you can control, like you can pull pull the PK freeze a little bit back after you pull it forward. So really good really good tool, especially for uh Aegis's uh like Aegis is whatever, uh, like, vertical, very, very, like, uh, telegraphed vertical recovery. Ooh, I just heard Roy. You know what? This happened last week. Black Twins did Hold start up. Aegis and then switched to Roy, and it worked out pretty well for him. So we'll see if Stixer can conquer. Poison. Immediately, backer get 12%. That up B falling. Oh, that's a very Damn. strange scenario right How there. How many times have you seen that happen? <laughs> Okay, go, go, go sort of again. I feel like even like if Black Twins is getting these trades, like the damage he's racking up on Stixer is huge. And with great ledge pressure here. I like him waiting on the platform there. You know what? It, it makes you think you have options open when you don't. Okay. Is this... Once again, the upbeat and 101% on Stixer. Scared in the corner with his shields able to roll in, but gets sent right back off stage again with the forward air. Okay, I was I was gonna say, are they, are they like playing in the void? I, I I could not hear any any music. I was like I was like, okay, this is a uh, we chose an environmental noises now, but uh, no, it's a persona song, very very similar persona song, and the great tomahawk there, great awareness from Black Twins to tomahawk throughout all this pressure that he's had and Stixer, 
really getting much. Just a little bit of nickels and dimes here as for damage right now on the parry on the Zare. Fast Zare. Wow. Yeah, parry's, parry's not, not fast enough to, to punish that. Off stage again. They only oh, need to snipe it. No! Holy! Uh, you know what? He bounced that's, off the stage there with that air dodge. That's so unfortunate, too, because Stixer actually had that huge lead right there with the edge guard, and Blacktons was in trouble, and off stage, no, not, a lot, not a lot of resources, and just somehow, you know, a bit of a flub, and now Stixer down a stock. No oh, there's no Black jump Twins. there from Black Twins. Good gimp! Very well done. A little bit too much of an early trigger press from Black Twins on the jump there, leading to that stock. Now Stixer no, with the not again. Thunder. No not again. way, but you know what? I, I really like Black Twins catching the rule with that double-edged dance. Stixer is, is getting way too ballsy with this. Yeah, that's a lot of PK Thunder. What is going on here? Finally gets off ledge. Can he make it count? All right. Small little bit of damage there, but it's not enough. That's Please. so scary. You watch someone charge a smash deck in your face like that, you think, when are they letting it rip? There's that small window too. If Sixer like rolls in and Blackton's let's go, that before they 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 roll in with it with invincibility, it could have hit him. So really dangerous. What an air dodge! Yeah, it's a good recovery there from Black Twins, narrowly avoiding the PK fire. A bit of a scramble between them, and you know, surprisingly enough, Stixer has made this very even. It started out amazing for Stixer, or amazing for Black Twins. Sorry, he's brought it all the way back. No conversion with an air drag down to the double edge dance. Takes that stock. Six are not liking this dance either. Already back into another combo. Black Twins. He's hitting these. Yeah, huge combos. Oh, big damage. 52% on the board, but doesn't land that grab. And this back throw, not quite. Are we going to see PK fire? There it is. I was thinking PK threes, freeze, but you know what? Fire does the job. <laughs> not sure if that one was intentional, but you know, Sticks are generating some momentum here. Not landing this air, though. Okay, okay. Good catch. Black Twins, the aggro. Stixer. Yeah, Stixer. Stixer. Dude, he, dude, he loves the ledge. He, he, yeah, he, he's <laughs> been spending a lot of time on ledge this game. For, for better and for worse. There's times where it's helped him out in terms of his evasiveness, and there's times where Black Twins is just ledge trapping him. That's a very scary F tilt. It can happen right here. Oh, wow. Great yeah. fast fall from Black Twins. Like, he's. He, he It's almost as oh, if, like, he's no. like. That up smash. You know what? I'm not even so sure if that one was intentional or not, but either way. No. Black Twins. I think this is best of five because it's Pool's finals. What? That's why they're not uh, standing up yet. I'm pretty Dude, sure. There's our... a lot of sets, so like. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, if if they have the time, they can do the It was another close one, though, on the part of Whisker. I think he's doing much better today against Black Twins than last week. Whether he VOD reviewed, whether he. You know, studied the matchups that he faced with. Either way, or maybe today's just a better day for him. He's looking a lot better now than he was before. Sixer's a huge improver, so like he not he not he sees the mistake of the last week through the last monthly. He's like, wow, this uh this really blows. So let me let me uh let me learn. Let me let me learn to and Zare here's more. The Zare train no catching jump? the jump. No jump. That could be it. PK freeze off stage. I'm not so sure about that. I think as as soon as you see your opponents lost their jump. You gotta just go right after them. Because all they can do really do is air dodge. Or a beat. That's all they got. Either way though, 56% on the board. Looking a lot better for Stixer early this game than last game. There's a lot of times when Stixer will have some sort of lead and it will become like really, really over ambitious, right? Mm -hmm. And it'll it really it's like a, it's it's almost like a detriment. Because like look look at the lead now compared compared to before. Ooh, that's stage spike. Yeah, besides obviously besides besides obviously what, what just happened now with this the stage spike. Uh, he he only had like 50% on Black Twins and now at 92, if he didn't if he didn't get hit by hit by the Sour Spot, he would have very even stocks here too. So like he's gotta watch out just to not get too cocky after after getting a single hit on Black Twins. And yeah, and Stixer could have possibly even taken that first stock even earlier than he did, but he still has a lead right here hanging out a little bit at the ledge. But wow, that down air. Not what I was expecting Black Twins to use there coming back on stage. Let's see, once again at the ledge, gets grabbed by Black Twins, but still huh, out of it here on this stock. Wow, barely not gonna hit right there. The PK freeze down smash, not quite hitting. 
I think Styx has to be a bit more careful with these PK freezes. They're not entirely working against Black Twins, with the exception of in game one, where he was able to force Black Twins' hands early. But in that case, Black Twins didn't have any resources left. And right now, honestly, close game. Styx hasn't really been able to get much extra credit, and now Black Twins making him pay. This is practically even. Practically. practically. I, I say practically, obviously, anything can happen, but these players have just been back and forth, hit for hit. Back air, two back air. A triple? Can you see a third one? No, Black Twins has the Black Twins factor, you know, like, you guys, even, even if, he, if he loses the game, he'll be like, I, I have, like, a plethora of characters. He has a Pichu, he has a Pichu. I know it's, like, not exactly the, be the best matchup, but, like, it's it's those matchups that, like, you expect to win that you actually lose in because, you know, you're, again, you, you get too cocky if you like Black Twins could actually Ooh, use did you advantage. See, did you see how Stixers? PK Thunder, he kind of stalled it a little bit by doing a little loop-de-loop. What a wait to set yeah. up that situation. You got the little active hitboxes, the little little string behind the kite, uh, kind of hitting him. Obviously, gimpable character, so. And once again, Stixer at the ledge. I want to get some kind of statistic That's as to how many That's times... That's so bad! Oh no! Great play there from Black Twins. I want to get a counter on how many times Stixer has grabbed the left ledge, because I feel like he's spending a lot of time over there. And Black Twins getting a very good string on Stixer here, continuing the damage with the up B out of shield. I love these guard? pivot grabs no here from way. Stixer. Catching the jump! Oh, BK freeze! It's... I'm not sure if that one was intentional. See, I think he, he might have wanted an up B. He cannot wait for winter, dude. He just loves the snow. It, it just it, it cost him... It cost him so dearly. It cost him so dearly. He he was like, I am ready to get into my snow pants. PK freeze, my favorite move, dude. I love uh, I love Canada so much, dude. I love global warming so much. And uh, you know, it's getting colder now. We can we can we can thank Sixer for that. And uh, got punished by it. Black is not a winter fan. Not a winter fan.